Hallelujah. Thank you so much, destiny and praise. Uh, you just bless my heart with that rendition. And we're grateful to the Father, brothers and sisters. I want to thank the Lord for the way He's helped us with our children. <clears throat> By the grace of the Lord, every broadcast we make is a product of every one of them at work, arise or iron the clothes and the leg full are in the place with destiny and praise every one of them ready to do and i want to encourage every young person it's time for families to bond together this is a time for families to work together whatever is the assignment of lord is to everyone in the family father mother young and old everybody has a role let everybody do his own and everything will go well let us pray but i'll pray for all families in the household of faith, that each of them will pay the price to receive grace to walk in your purpose. Lord, we ask you to keep to bond all of us in all the families and cause us to all discover and walk in the same purpose, that your name may be honored and glorified in Yeshua's mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Just a short announcement before I go ahead. If you are part of the Global Prayer Task Force to degrade and eliminate coronavirus, remember that by 9.30 London time, uh, which is 4.30 Eastern time and 3.30 Central time, U.S., and 11.30 South African time, and Ireland time is the same as London, and Nigeria is the same as London, we're going to be having a very, very important meeting where the Lord will give us an update on the battle so far, three weeks of you know, the spiritual warfare and prayer going on, what the Lord has done. Uh, we're going to have an update inside the group. It's going to be a live broadcast like this, but it's, it's for the group. So if you're in the group, want you to be inside the group, log into the group at that time. And if you want to have, if you have questions, you're going to be able to release the questions. And if you have comments, you'll be able to bring them forth. It's going to be a very awesome time. The Lord is teaching his church how to use technology, and we're going to explore all avenues. We are in the midst of a massive release of wisdom for asymmetric spiritual warfare, and it's time the church will stop backing down. The church is going to advance like David to invade the camp of the Philistines. It's going to be like David going to overcome the Goliaths in the war. Right now, the Goliath we have is this terrible pandemic called COVID-19. But in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of the crisis that the world has turned into, that countries, major and minor, turned upside down, economies shuttered, banks, what do you, which sector has not been affected? The entertainment industry almost ground to a halt. Things are at such a critical period in world history. In the midst of it all, there's one word the Lord dropped in my heart. Remember, we are looking at reliable promises of Elohim for his remnant in during storms of life like the COVID-19. So the Lord dropped this word in my heart, John 16, 33. Lord, by your spirit, communicate your word. Grant us understanding and the grace to receive it with faith. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Yeshua himself, the Prince of Life, the King of Kings, said in John 16, 33, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace, shalom, wholeness, wellness. In the world you shall have tribulation. And be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yeshua said, Be of good cheer. I, your head, I, your savior, I, your king, I, the groom of the church. I have overcome the world. And so he gives us a choice. He says, hey, you know what? Come out of the world. Come into me. Hide in me. The world has nothing to offer, only trouble, crisis, confusion. And the truth is that many Christians in our generation never, ever gave thought to that scripture because all the exotic preachers who are of the new plastic cross, who hate the old rugged cross, all they teach us is, you know, things to make us say it is cool to grab the world, be in the world, run a rat race with the world. And even now, the Lord is saying it's time to dump 
the dangerous leaven of the oh, of the new plastic cross. It is no gospel. The old rugged cross is a place where we die to self so that we can trust our Savior. We die to self so that we are risen with our Savior. We die to self and his pursuit, his ambitions, and we drop them. We let go of them. We embrace our Savior. We go into him. We dwell in him. And in him we find security and everything. Many people tend to forget that in him is all we need. Anything that is not of him is suspect. Anything that doesn't emanate from him has no value for us. And so in the midst of this COVID-19, the Lord is drawing us again, lest we forget. Our satisfaction is in him. Our true success is in him. Our security is in him. Men and brethren, the choice we have now, it's really a no choice in the real sense, do we really have a choice? The Lord said, come back to me. Come. Come into my chamber. Come. Come and dwell in me. Come and find your meaning in me. Come and find your relevance in me. Come. Let me receive you back. Embrace you. Let me bring you into the depth of my heart. Let me unveil my heart to you. Let me show you my ways. In the days of Israel, we are told in Psalm 103 that the Elohim revealed his ways to Moses, but his acts to Israel. Why? Israel was looking for his acts. They sought his hand. They didn't seek his heart. They didn't seek his face. They sought his hand, what they could get from him. It was what they want is bread, butter, bread, butter. When they don't have it, they begin to desire the cucumber and onion of Egypt. Isn't that so what is happening today? that many people are seeking his hand still. The Lord said, I want to reveal my heart to you. I want to give you the secrets of my heart. I want to give you a, a, a sneak peek into the world to come, that which is to happen. And it cannot, I cannot give it to you if you are far from me, if I'm a distant unknown God to you. I can only give it to you if we're in a place of intimacy, where you are my friend, where you also live like a son of Elohim, and the secret of Elohim can be revealed to you. When it's revealed to you, you don't need to worry. You don't need to be anxious. When it's revealed to you, you can literally ride the storms of life. I think the children will close us out with storms of life when we close today. It will be a shelter in the midst of the storm. My brothers and my sisters, I want to encourage you. In Yeshua, we have peace. In Yeshua, we have all that we need. In Yeshua, we have provisions. In Yeshua, we have preservation. COVID-19 cannot cut down one whose whole faith is in Yeshua. And one of these days, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you the theology behind being in him. Does he make Christians without be stricken? Christians can be stricken. Why? If we open a door, and that door can be by allowing ourselves to be infected, going to places we ought not to go, or congregating, or whatever we are told to do to avoid, and we're going to eat, it can happen. But the reality is, for the vast majority of Christians, there is this possibility that if we can dwell in Him, stay in Him, be confident in Him, if we can find Him our satisfaction, the Lord is saying to you tonight, in me, you shall have peace, shalom, wellness, wholeness. But in the world, tribulation. And the Lord is saying that there is tribulation even now. I expect a little bit. The real tribulation will happen after the church is raptured. And when this COVID-19 is finally eliminated from the earth, there will be a short span of time when the Lord is going to unveil the Omega Church in radiant glory, and the Omega Church is going to be manifested in the world like never before, then the end will come, the rapture will happen. After the rapture of the saints, the he who hinders, which is the church, will be out of the way, then the man of sin will emerge. And what you are seeing now is going to be child's play compared with what will happen under the reign of the Antichrist. And the Lord is saying, before then, come into me. I want to be your shelter. Coming to me, I want to be your security. Coming to me, I want to be all in all to you. Trust me with everything. Trust me with your protection, your preservation, your provision. 
That's a good deal. The Elohim of heaven wants to enfold you inside of him. So that, for instance, this water is inside this cup. You know what? It will take somebody breaking this cup before the water can spill. And if it is so, I want to say this to you. You are inside Yeshua, remain in him. And if you are outside him this time, to run into him, jump into him. And the way to jump into him is by the way of the blood. To embrace what he did at the cross of Calvary, as for you. And to recognize that at Calvary, he took away all your sins. No matter how huge, no matter how mighty your sins were, the Lord took them all away and said, I forgive you. All you need to do is to believe in your heart that he died for you. Confess with your tongue that he is Lord. And that settles it. Believe in your heart. Confess with your tongue. That settles it. If you're a backslider, if you have drifted away from the faith because you were pursuing bread and butter and the vanities of life, this is a good time to return to your father. Let me tell you the sweet thing. Your father's hands are outstretched, outstretched to receive you. He will not chide you. He will not rebuke you for coming to him. He will welcome you like the father of that prodigal son. And if you are one of those preachers that deleted the preaching of holiness and was rather concerned with gathering a crowd of members unto yourself, not members of the body, and you didn't teach them about discipleship, about holiness, and you were just giving them all those sound bites and they grew to you, they were just addicted to your voice, this is a time to return to He who purportedly called you and said, I'm so sorry, I misled your people and you give me opportunity, I'm still alive. Brothers and sisters, there can be powerful renewal. There can be powerful reconciliation. There can be a whole lot of dealings of Elohim with his people that can give us a massive advantage over COVID-19. At the end of the day, for those who will embrace what he says to us, COVID-19 will be found to be something that the enemy meant for ill. Elohim turned it for good. Brothers and sisters, let me issue this call again, and then the children will close us out about him being the shelter in the midst of storm. You know what? Yeshua said, these things are spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. And the world shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Do you believe that? Now why not come to him now? Because he's a shelter in the midst of storms. Wonderful. Shelter in the sky of storm. 